I hate retirement. I hate sleeping late in the mornings. I, I hate that I don't know what to do throughout the day. I'm staying up late. I'm gaining weight. I just hate it. Hey everybody, it's David from David in Progress. Yeah, that's kind of a striking thing to say right up front. And it is the reaction that I got recently from someone that I know that had retired early in the year when I asked him how it was going. So today, I thought we'd talk about that. Let's talk about four signs that you may not be ready to retire. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Hey everybody, it's David from David in Progress, where we talk about financial independence, retiring early, and living your best possible life now. So what are four signs that you may not be ready for retirement? You know, you think the future, you picture the retirement years, these golden years where everything is happy, uh, flowers are blooming, the birds are singing, you're traveling, you're doing all these things, and retirement is great. But retirement is not for everyone. And of course, there are the financial things uh, that you need in order to be ready for retirement, and that is totally uh, something different. These are signs, if you take a deep look at yourself, you might say, you know what, I'm not really ready. Sign number one is that you have a lot of debt. Now, We've been debt-free, our family, since 2014. That's when we paid off our mortgage. And it's been uh, just wonderful. If you have large credit card balances that you're not paying off monthly, if you have uh, car payments, those type of things, you may not be ready to retire. One of the key things that you want to do is have your expenses as low as possible. And one of the main things that will help with that is not having any debt. I understand a mortgage, a lot of people have super low interest mortgages and so they're hanging on to those. Maybe that's okay, but cars, credit cards, those type of things make no sense. You want to have your expenses as low as possible so that you have no worries when it comes to that when you are retired. Sign number two, speaking of expenses, is that you do not understand your future expenses. You've not taken the time to sit down and dig deep into a budget and analyze how much is it going to actually cost you when you retire. You know, in your working days, things are really different in that paycheck. You got a lot of things being taken out of it that are being taken care of for your company. You, you probably have some money being taken out for retirement. You have money being taken out for healthcare, all kinds of different things. Well, the world changes when you get to retirement and you're no longer accumulating wealth, you're spending it. So it's really important that you dig deep into your expenses and project how much money you are going to need monthly and annually once you pull that trigger. And you should, and I recommend two categories. First, there are your essential expenses. This is the bare minimum that I am going to need to retire. If, if, if I do nothing but the bare minimum, you know, pay that mortgage if you have it, pay the electric bill, uh, pay for health care, those type of things. How much do I need? And then there is the dream budget, which is what does a life look like if I get to do everything that I want? You know, if I'm traveling, if I'm doing all these extra things, how much is that going to cost? Put the two together and you got your dream budget for retirement. If you pull the trigger and you don't know these expenses, you may find yourself in some really deep trouble very shortly after the time that you retire. Sign number three, you are in love with your job. Now notice there I said in love, not that you love your job. Believe it or not, there are a lot of people that love their jobs. They get up enthusiastically uh, wanting to go to work every day. They enjoy their coworkers. Uh, they love what they do, but they're totally okay with all that ending and moving off to do something else. There are also people that are in love with their job. Their job is a career, it's a vocation. It is who they are, it's not just what they do. This is especially true among entrepreneurs and people that own a business. You know, you spend your whole life building this thing up, this thing that you are in love with. And it is very difficult for those people to let go of this thing that they love. So if that's you, if you are in love with your job, maybe in the few years leading up to your projected retirement, you, uh, you start the breakup process. Take some extra long vacations and see what it's like uh, when you're away. Find someone who is your uh, successor, someone who is going to take over the business, and who can love it and cradle it and treat it as well as you did for all those years. And maybe then 
Maybe then you would feel comfortable to let go of this thing that you love and allow someone else to love it as much or maybe even more than you did. Another sign is that you lack a post-retirement purpose. Go back to the person that I mentioned at the very beginning of this video. He lacked a purpose. You know, in the mornings, there was no longer that, that motivation to get up and go do something. He had the type of personality or has the type of personality that needs a goal every day, a purpose every day. And I could see it in his eyes. I could hear it in his voice that at this time, at least, he was lacking a purpose. And if you've worked all these years and now you are retired, you probably have some skills, some valuable skills that other people might benefit from. We enjoy volunteering for nonprofits, and we do that a couple of days a week, and it is fantastic, it gives us purpose for that week. Heck, this uh, YouTube channel is part of my purpose. You know, I have a goal to create a video once a week and release it, and it gives me something on my mind to be thinking about and to be planning for. Perhaps travel is your purpose. You know, seeing the world, you've thought about things that you wanna do, and write those down. The key is not to be retiring just to leave something. The key is to also be retiring to move towards something and have that positive purpose of what your future is going to look like. So those were four signs that you are not ready for retirement yet. The signs were you have debt, you don't understand your future expenses, you are in love with your job and you're not willing to break up with it. It's going to be hard when you do that. Or perhaps you just don't have a purpose for what you're going to do next. I know there's a lot more things we could add to that list. What would you add? You know, when you think about people that are not ready to retire, what would you add to the list of things that are watch outs to make sure that they are ready? And we're not talking about finances. We're more talking about the psychology of retirement. I'd love to hear from you. If any of these things apply to you, hey, don't worry. You have time. Unfortunately, you are thinking about it. That's why you're watching this video. You can go in and define what that retirement looks like and start to work out the bugs now before you pull the trigger and walk out the door towards your retirement. You can do this and you have time to make it happen so that you can live your best life when that retirement time begins. Hey, I just want to thank everybody for stopping by and watching my video. I really would love it if you give me a thumbs up, if you leave a comment, if you share this video. Mostly, I just thank you for watching. And I want to thank you for being part of my channel here at David in Progress. You are absolutely amazing.